You know, what the patriarch doesn't understand is natural law. Natural law is what you go by. In order, in order to conduct your life as a human being, you have to learn what's around you. That's natural law. Learn about the trees. Why do the leaves fall? Not scientifically, but naturally. What happens when they fall? Well, of course, you go down there where the leaves fall and you'll smell decay. They're decaying, but at the same time, they're fertilizing. And if you watch the, the land, you'll see all this plant life. But the poison plants have no friends. Look at all the friends here. They're all, they all coexist with one another. With the bees, with the birds, with the worms, with the snakes, the gophers. Prairie dogs, everything. The elk, the antelope, the grasses, the bushes, all coexist to help one another. You get to a poisonous plant and it has no friends. It's bare all around the poisonous plant. So that's natural law. So you can, you can blend in with anything and everything that is around you if you're friendly and you share and you sacrifice, you're willing to sacrifice. That's what you can learn from just plant life. And if you're a poisonous person, you're not going to have any friends, period. So why be that person? Natural law. The air, the wind, you know, we had 50, we still have, 52 names for clouds. In this part of the world, there's 52 different kinds of clouds that come. If you know the names of those clouds, then you know your way. You can tell the weather up to four days. The clouds coupled with the wind, whichever the wind is coming. That's natural law. What also is natural law is that everything that is round is sacred. Everything that is sacred is round. The raindrops, the leaves, you and I, all life is round. Even the wind is round. Wind travels in a circle. So do the clouds. The sun and the moon and the stars are all round. So that's a lesson right there. Natural law. You watch an animal. And you realize, you know, there are no predators. There's only natural law. And we, human beings, we don't want to be eaten. It's that simple. That's natural law. We don't want to be eaten. So every bit of what life can teach us, we incorporate for our own survival. For instance, watching the coyotes. Coyotes hunt in pairs, man and wife. When they select out a buffalo, for instance, they don't chase the buffalo. Oh, they chase it minimally, but they chase it in a circle. They make it go in a circle. And then when it gets too tired, they kill it, eat it. Well, that's why we hunted buffalo. We didn't ride our BMWs across hill and dale. Look at these plains, man. You're going to ride a horse you trained seven, eight years. You're going to ride them over hill and dale. You don't know where a hole is or a big rock or cactus or anything. And then you chase that beast say, over the hill and you're camped out here and you kill it over the hill. Who's going to go get it? That's a ton of meat, man. No, you, you, you follow the, the coyote. And we run the buffalo in a circle, kill it, and we're all right there. And we can enjoy the meat and the hide. 
and the fur and the tongue and the hooves and the head and the skull and the tail, every bit means something to us, has value to us. Natural law is the four seasons. How do you live in the four seasons? Well, we built what is called a teepee, a home. It's one of the finest architectural designs of, of buildings in the world. In fact, it's the best because it doesn't need a foundation. The teepee poles, weight is on each other. Then you put the hide around there and you add to the weight, but the weight is on the poles, not dependent on the ground. And so it's, it's conical shape. So when the wind comes, it immediately goes off around it because it's round, man. So you're safe from high winds. And it also spiritually means something, the home. It, it's a teacher every day because the teepee represents a woman. You know, those flaps that you call flaps and they have this, the uh, teepee poles in the flaps and they're out like that. Well, at night, you fold in the flaps like this. See, that's how a woman takes care of you. She keeps you warm, safe. The door is very small. One to keep out the wind, but mainly to teach you to be humble. See, you have to bend down to enter the home. So that, that's a little lesson right there. The teepee poles, when they're up there tied together like that, they represent the men. And when the men are tied in unity, nothing can bring them down. Nothing. Not even an earthquake. 